everybody at once. I think, you know, uh, over the years, just growing and paying attention to my training more, we don't want to start too fast, and I think maybe that's a little too slow. You know, uh, we kind of knew what he did. He stayed busy from the outside with his hand, uh, was able to explode in, but uh, he's a little bit quicker with the head kick than I thought. I'm interested. Was it really, I mean, as long as you've been in the game, was it really just a conversation with Dominic Cruz that convinced you to go like change your training approach? Yeah, it's funny because uh, Dominic sounds kind of like a condescending like naturally smart ass, you know? So for him to say, he looked at me like, I don't know, maybe two years ago and was like, uh, we were talking about training at home and all this other stuff. And he was like, what about your previous fight? He was talking about that and training at home. And he was like, well, who's your coach? And I was like, well, he is. He trains my striking. I got to first train my wrestling this. He was like, well, who's your head coach? I was like, uh, he was like, exactly, who's your head coach? So I kind of, you know, I took a couple of losses in, in very tough fights that, you know, uh, I felt I didn't have the right preparation. And I kind of took it to heart. I was like, you know, maybe maybe it's time to get a coach, you know, a head coach. So what did the win tonight like mean to you? I mean, it's kind of like they put you against the up-and-coming guy, right? I mean, did you, did you have a little chip on your shoulder? Like, oh, I see what they're trying to do here. Yeah, it's funny because uh, I'm not an over-emotional guy. Like, me and a couple of guys, before the fight, we got into a lot of words. We were up each other's face. And when I went to him at the... Uh, the, the uh, face off, the weigh-ins, whatever. I said to him, I said, you call me out, here we go. And he was like, mother, uh, it's my time now. I'm like, whoa, buddy, whoa, whoa. I'm not trying to start like a, a crazy war. I'm just letting you know, hey, you called me out. Show up, you know, so I just wanted to let him know, you know, uh, he called me out, I took notice to it. So I definitely was gonna match his intensity. You made your UFC debut December, 2012, and you're still here competing at a high level. Not a lot of fighters have the longevity you've had in your career. What do you credit that to? Is it just you know, self-belief or just, you know, proper training? What, what do you look at to still be able to compete at a high level? Just, you know, uh, a lot of hard work, you know. It's been a lot of times I came out here and I didn't look really great. I made poor decisions out here. And I, second, I had people second guessing me. I second guessing myself. But uh, I like to tell everybody, I never had a chance to grow up in this sport. I was so good early. I got signed to Strike Force when I was six and old. So I was like three fights and I fought Jock Ray. And my like 10th fight and I've been fighting for a year and a half. And this guy's fighting for like 12 years, you know, former world champion. So I never really got time to grow up. So right now I'm older, but I still have my, my speed, my quickness. And I'm actually, you know, finally growing up a little bit. You were the betting underdog in this fight. I don't know if you knew that, but you had a lot more experience than Ian. Even the losses you have against top guys, do you feel like, in general, people overlooked you in this Yeah, absolutely, you know. Uh, there's a little chip on my shoulder. You know, I don't do a lot of media and uh, during the week, so if people send me messages, I don't read them. Like, I'll kind of post, I'll look and I'll just get off, you know. So I really don't read into, like, what people are seeing. I don't read comments, I don't go to posts. Like, I, I glimpse one and somebody's like, Ian is going to whoop you, you know. So, uh, I don't pay that stuff a lot of attention, but I definitely had to chip on my shoulder when I saw the odds, you know, kind of two to one. I was like, okay, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't appreciate this. You know, I really got to go and show what I, who I am and, and what I have. What do you feel like a, a win over Ian has put you in the division? Because he had a nice winning streak heading into this fight. Yeah, he was a top uh, up and coming guy. I feel he can beat a lot of guys in the division. He already came in and called out some big guys and beat some big guys, you know. So uh, I feel as it puts me right there, you know. Uh, Looking for a big fight right after this one. What would a big fight look like for you? I mean, you fought a lot of the guys in the division already. Yeah, um, they got a lot of fights going on. They got uh, Yoel and Casa going on. They have uh, Candanier and um, yeah. Hermanson going on. So there's a lot of fights, you know, or we can, t we can just take another fight, you know. Um, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there and reach my goals, you know, uh, before I'm satisfied with the sport. Eric, you have proven that you're still the top of this. You took on two guys, Theodoro and Heinish, who were ranked lower than you. Do you need a top 10 guy next to you take anything less than that? Yeah. I'll take anybody, you know, and always, yeah, we want to look for those big fights. We want to look to elevate ourselves. And funny enough, this was kind of my contract point. So that's going to be a part of the discussion, you know, what are we going to do next, you know? Uh, I'm game for whatever. I'm down for, for whatever. I fought everybody in this division, and I'm, I'm still willing to do so, you know. I still want to I want to get that title fight. I was I was there twice. A lot of people might not know him, but I was pretty much guaranteed a title shot with a win uh, twice. And uh, I just didn't get the job done. I wasn't articulate enough in that fight. You know, I made too many errors. So I want to definitely uh, right those wrongs. You mentioned how you were just about there twice before. Sitting here now, 
it feel any different than the last two times that we were eating for the title shot? Yeah, I feel I still I, I still have the speed, I still have the willpower, uh, I still have the strength and quickness. It's just all about applying myself. I can even get better, you know. I haven't peaked yet. I still feel I'm operating on about 70%. I still have a long ways to go up. So it's just now I'm going to take this time to really focus on my martial arts, focus on my striking, my jiu-jitsu. So when that next top fight comes, we'll be ready to capitalize on that moment. You talk a lot about training physical strength and everything between the fights. There. Immediately, you said you kind of got you look a little too into those consecutive knockouts and that kind of played into fight against Whitaker. So how much are you going to be working on the mental game in between? Oh yeah, the mental game is strong, you know. It's, it's weird because these last two fights I felt blank. I was trying to feel like a little jittery, a little nervous, but I felt nothing. So I was like, man, this is weird. You know, I, I'm never nervous, but you know, you're always like, okay, it's go time. But I'm like completely like blank, you know. So I think I'm doing everything I need to do to uh, prepare. So I'm just kind of ready for the moment. So. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.